This week's Cloud Gaming News recap has all the latest from Google Stadia, GeForce Now, Xbox Cloud Gaming, PlayStation Now and Amazon Luna. Let's find out what happened this past week. Google Stadia added two more games, Overcooked, All You Can Eat is available now in the Stadia store, Overcooked, Overcooked 2 and all additional content are blended together and remastered in this definitive edition. Elemental War 2 is also now available and this tactical tower defence game comes with the integration of crowd choice, meaning your YouTube livestream viewers can vote on your next move. Stadia players also have some new and forthcoming additional content for games. Destiny 2's Guardian games are currently underway and will run until May 24. Risk of Rain 2's Survivors of the Void will be arriving later this year in Quarter 4. And the FIFA 22 crossplay test is live across Stadia, Xbox Series S and X and PlayStation 5. RTX 3080 members playing from the PC and Mac native apps can now stream at 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. 4K streaming gets boosted by Nvidia DLSS, the groundbreaking AI rendering technology that increases graphics performance using dedicated Tensor Core AI processors on RTX GPUs. The upgrades didn't stop with 4K streaming though, as you can now take advantage of the RTX 3080 membership across more 120Hz mobile devices that support streaming at 120 frames per second. Newly supported devices include the Samsung Galaxy S22 and S22 Ultra, Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Flip 3, and the OnePlus 9 Pro. Ten more games joined the GFN library this week. Bakery Simulator, Oaken and Dinosaur Fossil Hunter are all new game releases available from Steam. Warhammer 40,000, Chaos Gate, Demon Hunters and Trek to Yomi are also new game releases but they are available from both Steam and Epic. The final new game release was Crowns and Pawns Kingdom of Deceit which is available via Steam. We also got Frozen Heim which is available from Steam and then the big trio of Star Wars games, Battlefront 2, Jedi Fallen Order and Squadrons are all now available via Steam and Origin. In some cases you can access these Star Wars titles from Epic if you have linked your Origin and Epic accounts and the games show in your Origin library this way. Since it's the beginning of the month, we have a games roadmap for May and some notable games including Evil Dead the game, Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song, Crossfire Legion, Raji an Ancient Epic and The King of Fighters 15. Xbox dropped a bomb late last week with the introduction of Fortnite onto Xbox Cloud Gaming. This is completely free to play, meaning all you need is a Microsoft account and an iOS, iPad OS, Android phone or tablet or Windows PC with internet access. You can even play with native touch controls as Mar Chief has demonstrated in his latest video. Go check it out for more details. Three more games are available this week in the form of Loot to River, Trek to Yomi and Citizen Sleeper. Three more are coming on May 10, Dangan Rompa 2 Goodbye Despair Anniversary Edition, Iodin Chronicles Rising and This War of Mine Final Cut. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas The Definitive Edition will be leaving the cloud in May 10. Enter the Gungeon, Remnant from the Ashes, Steep, The Catch, Cartman Course and finally The World at Heart will all be leaving as well on May 15. PlayStation added three final games to their streaming service as we know it before it all changes next month. PlayStation now will be resolved into the PlayStation Plus Premium tier. Nonetheless, we got Naruto Shippuden, Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, Soul Calibur 6 and Blasphemous to keep us busy until then. Capcom Stadium Arcade is now available on the Amazon Luna Retro channel. 20 classic arcade games are included in this one bundle. Katamari Damacy Reroll will be the first game to leave Luna since its inception. Not so unsurprising as this is unfortunately the way for most subscription services. 
As it stands, it does not look like you will be able to buy and keep the game before it leaves. This certainly won't be the last game to leave, but we'll be interested to see if they offer up any purchase options in the future. One to keep an eye on for now. Well, we are keeping an eye on that and everything else cloud gaming related, why don't you drop your thoughts in the comments below? Could I also point you in the direction of our Twitch channel where we will be starting a brand new cloud gaming podcast this Sunday. I and some regular faces will be discussing all the latest news in the cloud gaming space and would love for you to join us and get involved. Our Twitch channel is in the video description below. Thanks for your time and thanks for tuning in. We'll be back soon with more cloud gaming content.